채널 젊은 달 Welcome to Creative Audio here at Shepparton Park of Pinewood Studios. Come on in. So this is the entrance and in here we'll be entering into Theatre 2, which is the main Foley room. Um, it doesn't look like they're recording right now. Hi everyone. Hello. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> My name is Gemma Riley Tolch. I'm the head of recording for Pima Studios, and on Klaus, I'm the Foley mixer. Uh, I'm Zoe, and this is Rebecca. Hi, I'm Rebecca, <laughs> and we're the Foley artists on the project. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know how long it took to press this uniform? I don't either, but it took somebody hours. Hello, Berghardt. Finally, a friendly face. Can you believe what the Berghardt? I'm not in the coach with you. So this is for our beautiful carriage. Is everyone ready? Yeah. I want to try and sell more of the opulence, how rich he is, and how poor he's about to be. Thank you, Dad. This is really wonderful, Father. Thank you so much. We create sound effects um, using all different kinds of props and our feet. So you've got the feet, the moves, and the spots. And this is especially important in animation because there's no sound from when it was shot. It's the type of film that really lends itself to be super creative. Which mic am I on? One. They've given us plenty of notes and detailed information about things that they want specifically, but otherwise they were like, just go for it. My job has been with Gemma, helping record these guys, the Foley artists down here, and bring the sound of class to life. The amount of projects that have come through here and great projects that have got worldwide acclaim um, is always in the back of your mind and you know you're constantly striving for that level of consistency and work. Our dog cart. <laughs> and then we'll add more things onto this. It'll sound bigger, it'll sound heavier, especially when you've got him and Klaus sat in it. One of us might even get in it so that it's weighed down a bit more. Probably me. <laughs> I used to work as an assistant director in the film industry um, before I had a complete career change and realised I really wanted to be a Foley artist. Getting muddy with us every day. Yeah. <laughs> Does he crack the reins? Not really. Yeah, a little bit. This room's quite unique. Um, due to its size, so it's quite nice um, having a lot of space around uh, around the recording, so we can actually be quite flexible in terms of um, air around the sounds. The prop store contains everything that you could possibly think of. Paper, and notebooks, and desks, and related things for, like, for offices, lots of books, radios and cameras, wartime, and then there's shoes pretty much everywhere. These are Klaus's boots, so I was Bernie's feet in Rocket Man. Aladdin, yes. I was mm -hmm. Princess Jasmine's feet. So we perform in sync with whatever's going on on the screen. Um, it's usually just one of us, but actually for Klaus, we're both performing it at the same time. If you just do the bag on its own, it's a bit nothing, but then together... We had Gabriel in and he was going through with us and he was like, yeah, make him big, make him scary. So we really went to town on that. <laughs> the editorial will mix together the actual feat that me and Rebecca would have performed together 
plus this and make him seem really heavy and scary, especially at the beginning. Our wood that's down there, there is actually a little etching in it as well, um, but it was installed for Harry Potter for Dumbledore's office. HP7 2011. Klaus's house has been Dumbledore's office and vice versa. That is why. Now we're doing Mrs. Okay. Crumb's cane. Householdy items. So for like cleaning equipment and light bulbs, ropes, whips. Not that those are household items. Klaus has perfectly lent itself to everything that we have. As you've probably noticed by now, a lot of our stuff is quite old. <laughs> the only thing we have had to do is make some presents. Time to get some presents. <laughs> For me? No, for the children. We've we've had to make lots of presents. There's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of wrapped presents. You are to establish a working postal office in. And then, as it goes through, it goes over a bit of ocean. Smirensburg. And we just did a little wet layer, a little bit of water sound like it was going through the sea. Hiya, I'm Sophia. I'm one of the Foley editors on the film, along with um, Adam, who's also working as an editor. Um, so our job is basically just to get the stuff they've recorded in the theatre and polish it and make it sound like the final thing. So they've recorded six tracks for um, all the six kids that you see. Sometimes we don't want to hear all of them at the same time, so just if there's any which I think, oh, we don't need to hear that one. I might just mute it or get rid of it. The final stage is like the polishing stage and I'm a bit of a perfectionist and put, getting everything that's already sounding really nice but making it sound really, really perfectly in sync and getting rid of any possible click and anything like that, just, um, that really, it's really satisfying. Thank you. Klaus keeps a very clean house. So the guys have to sweep a lot because snow gets everywhere. We use salt and this is a bag full of corn flour which gives you that uh, noise that everyone associates with snow. But we've got two different types of snow so that we can change it for when the lighting changes in the film and everyone gets happier and Klaus is warming up to everyone. Everyone starts walking on slightly softer, happier snow instead of the grimy Smearensburg beginnings. The movements are slightly unnatural in terms of the real world, like the speed of, Klaus, uh, of Jesper's feet, sorry. Um, things like that which we have to approach differently. We're able to guess sort of on instinct what the character's going to do. We can tell by the way they're, they've moved their shoulder forward that they're about to start moving and what speed they're going to go at. Yeah. Whereas in animation, they'll just suddenly go. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay, off we go. And suddenly stop. Yeah. <laughs> no warning. It's a bit trickier. Yeah. Definitely much more fun. Yeah. Everyone feels like they've given their full heart and soul to it and I would like to think that we're doing the same because it's such a beautiful project to be working on. That sounds wicked. I think that's it for doors in this reel. <laughs> 